Hello guys, welcome to the Python series. In today's video, we're going to discuss about a module known as string module. So we already seen a data type known as the string data type, but what we're going to discuss in today's video is going to be about string module. The primary difference between string data type and string module is that string module allows us to do much complex variable um, computations in comparison with string data type and also for it's better for value formatting. So string module, it's a built-in module which allows us to do much complex variable substitutions also. And before we can use this any of its constants in classes, we have to import it. So string module contains some constants, utility functions and classes, which allows us for string manipulation. The string module also provides additional tools in order to manipulate these strings. So these methods are available in the standard data structure, which are not available in the string module. So the examples we are going to look under string constants are digits, uppercase, lowercase, hex digits, oct digits. And the string function, which we are going to look in this video is going to be cap words. And the string model classes, which we will be discussing is formatter, templator, and make trans. Hello guys, um, let us do some examples on the string module. So first let us start off with what is a string module. String module basically is similar to a string. What do we use a uh, data type string, but it has some extra constants, some utility functions and other subclasses which can be used in the string module, which will help in a better way to use in Python. So now to start off, let us import the string module. So first we'll be uh, trying to do the constant. So let us do the constants which are present. So first let us start off with the first module. So we are going to print string dot lowercase it's going to print all the lowercase uh, available alphabets which are present in our english alphabets so we're going to print all the lowercase letters or the alphabets now so next we're going to try is string dot uppercase okay it is uh, a c a uppercase so it's gonna print all uh, the alpha english uh, letters in the english alphabet in uppercase letters then we have So um, string dot ACI letters prints out both the combination of both the lowercase and uppercase letters in a single line. So we're going to see string dot digits. A digit prints out the digits available in our um, digit format, which is zero to nine. So string dot oct digits prints out um, the digits from zero to seven in octal or digital form, and the octal digits are from zero to seven, so it's listed here. So next we're gonna try is print dot string hex digits. So the hex digits prints out the digits from zero to nine, and also the six lowercase letters and the six uppercase letters. So it's a combination of six lowercase, six uppercase and the digits which are present from zero to nine.
The next we're going to see is uh, string dot punctuation. So it will print out all the available characters, the punctuation in the string module. So these are the character which has which are there uh, like exclamation mark, little comma, hashtag, dollar sign, etc. So string dot printable uh, prints all the combination of the digits, ACI letters, punctuation, white space, and all the ACI characters that can be printable, that are printable. So here you can see all the digits, the lowercase letters, the uppercase letters, the characters, and also the white space. Oh, forgot to tell you about the white space. So there's one more um, constant which is known as the white space. That includes the character space, so such as tab, line feed, uh, written, form feed, uh, space, etc. So that will be printed here uh, in this constant uh, string dot white space. So uh, we are going to do one function um, within the string module, which uh, we're going to see now. Um, the function we are going to see uh, in this uh, video or today's video is going to be uh, the function called this cap word. So cap word is something uh, that is uh, first take a string. Let us say a string is welcome to JNJ TV. Then we're going to have a another uh, variable uh, S1 to represent the string dot cap word and say s comma and we're gonna choose a letter a letter or a letter from this um, word which you have welcome to jng tv we're gonna choose uh, suppose say you're gonna choose the letter e from this so we're gonna choose the letter e And we're gonna say we are gonna print S1. So what it does, it capitalizes all the given uh, let all, all the letters after the letter E. So it capitalizes the letter which is present next to the letter E. So here L is capitalized because it is present after the letter E. For example, let us try something else. So let us say we have O. So here you can see that M has become capitalized. So, and this is the cap words is a constant or the function which uh, converts the letter which is present next to the given uh, provided letter and it capitalizes that. That is about function. So now let us see some uh, module classes which are present in our uh, string module. Uh, So first one which we are going to see is the format formatter class. So this class will become useful if you want to uh, subclass or define your own format string or a string syntax. It behaves just like the format uh, function which you use for general strings. So let me show you. So first from string we are going to import the formatter class. So we're gonna assign a variable uh, known as a formatter to hold this formatter class. So we're gonna print formatter dot format. So we're gonna say we are holding variable known as channel. Say our channel is. Uh, JNG TV. Right, let's print this out. So we are going to say that we're going to format a channel and we're going to assign the channel to JNG TV and we'll print JNG TV. Let's do it in a more formal way. So 
we say formatter dot format let's have a curly brackets here and this we can say channel and let's say welcome to then the channel would be JNT. so the more formal way we're gonna say that um, formatted or format we're gonna specify this welcome to in this brackets which is also very much similar to the dot format which you use for general strings and say welcome to channel name and we're gonna we have given us change TV so it's gonna print welcome to change TV the second class which we're gonna see before going to that let me tell you what is similar to format format of which is a equal similar to format function so let us take uh, example of the format function let us say we have a curly bracket and channel we're going to use the dot format which is used for general strings and let's say welcome to So it's very much similar to what we use for dot format function in strings, which is the dot format method, which also is most all same, same as the format. So the next class we're going to see is the template class. So this class is used to create a string template for simpler string substitutions, which you want to sub substitute later, which can be useful in implementation where uh, we don't need some complex complex formatting uses in that case we use the template template class so in order to start off with the template class first from string module we'll import the template class let's say t is uh, going to be holding the template class so t is a variable holding the template class so we are going to say template and dollar name which uh, signifies the substitution which we've done for this and this the title of this let's say channel So then we're gonna hold as a variable and say t dot substitute. So we're gonna say name equal to change TV and title. We're gonna keep it as title itself, or it can be name also. So I'm, I'm just gonna keep it as state title. and channel we are gonna name it as change tv let's print this out so we're gonna print s so it's gonna show that okay sorry here uh, channel uh, we'll keep it as uh, youtube channel So here you can print saying that JNGTV is the title of this YouTube channel. So this is about template where we substitute for a given uh, string and then instead of using the formatting uses, we just substitute the given uh, parts of a string. 